All right, well, if you're anything like me, you're kind of frustrated by Moodle's changes for 2.0 file management. I don't know if it's our install here or Moodle in general. I tend to think it's both. Uh, it's really been frustrating, and classes are starting soon, and you want to get things going. So I uh, migrated my course and found that all of the PowerPoints that I was linked to from within Moodle were no longer working. The links were there. I'd click on them and say, file not found. I'd go dig around in files and eventually find them and couldn't open them anyway. So I want to show you kind of a quick workaround. This is only really applicable to people at CPCC, but it's really quick. So first of all, you go get your original PowerPoints. In my case, I pulled them off a CD from the publisher. So I can go and uh, just show you what that looks like. So they're here. I have uh, 20 chapters. And then I go into my U drive, which, as you all know, um, is the shared drive for faculty, not the shared drive, it's your private drive for faculty. So you can see I've got that here. And what you do, if you haven't already, is you go into that folder, into that folder of your U drive, and you make a folder called www. So in this case, I've got it. It's called www. You see it there. And let me show you what happens when you go to a browser. Um, when I take a web page like this, and I go to my name, di.vonbriesen.people.cpcc.edu, it shows whatever in, is in that www. These icons are broken. I've asked them to fix. We'll see what happens with that. But all those other things are there. So notice I have a folder for Web 115. I also have one for Web 110. So I can go and show you how that changes. Um, in my files, I've got go into www, and there you see all that stuff, including Web 115, Web 110. Say I wanted to change that to be a section. It could be, um, I could rename it Web 115 XX, right? And now when I go back to the browser, um, I refresh it, and you see it says Web 115 XX. When you click on there, you see that it's empty. So what I'm going to do is go back to my folders. I'm going to take all my PowerPoints, just select them all, Control C, jump back to the folder. Web 115. I'll make a uh, folder here called uh, Slides. And in Slides, I'm going to paste all those slides. And now when I go back to the browser here and I refresh, I see a folder called Slides, and in there is all my slides. Now, if you want to link to any of them directly, you just right-click and choose Copy Link Address, and then you can put that into Moodle, and it's just like link linking to any website. Um, this is not a terribly clean approach, but the cool thing about it is it doesn't put anything of the files in Moodle, and you just link back to them. So I hope this is helpful to some of you. Let me know if you have any problems. D.I. Von Briesen, 704-293-3399.